Hello, Bobby. It's Angel Casanova. And you're watching Angel Casanova Watch vlogs. Oh, what's going on, guys? What's up, vlog? So, right now, it's like midnight. It is midnight. And right now, we're heading to her apartment. I'm going to tell you in a little bit once I get inside the car. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, not to. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get I'm, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to speaking English? So I don't know how I'm gonna get the car out of here, but I'm gonna try. This ice looks, I mean, well, this snow look, oh, well, might as well be ice. Yeah, that's, okay, let me see, oh, damn, oh, all right, damn. So, um, slight, uh, change of plan. First off, I wanna show you guys this. Um, yeah, snow? Really? What, what is that? I mean, guys, I have this, like, protective outside wind, uh, she, or, uh, like, wind thing that hangs outside of the car. But it's still open here. It, oh, it's still a little open, like, since we bought the, since we bought the car off of Craigslist, of course. There's, like, this little opening, and we would try to fix it in the summer, and we couldn't in time. And that's the, uh, that's the result. Why do these things happen to me? Why? It's 2018! So, I tried moving the car and that plan failed I have a Honda Accord and it's not a 4x4 at least I made some I made good ground like I went back and forth back and forth back and forth I think I'm not gonna move this car from here honestly because then when we come back from checking her apartment there's gonna be no parking left because a dude is gonna park here I think Shane and I were just gonna go back upstairs get some hot chocolate and call it a night cuz I'm not gonna stay I'm not gonna stay here and slip and fall to my death so this is babe. He's being dramatic. You know when you when you have when you move a certain way and then your bones crack like no. that's what happened to my knee, but it felt so weird. I felt like I dis dislocated my knee. It's still there. Bye boy. See you. Do you wanna you wanna go inside? You ready inside? <laughs> So this is our second night, our second attempt to um to get a Shay back out of the country. What? Uh, what? You've yeah, been watching too much Quantico. Yeah, we have. Uh, we have been watching uh, Quantico. We were just binge watching Quantico. We're almost at the second season. We just need a couple more episodes. No, here. twenty-two episodes. We're like a nine. Eight, nine? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna uh, take her to her apartment to check on the apartment, and if everything's good, she's gonna stay there just to make sure that her apartment is okay and I'm ready to uh, so she could leave the keys to the landlord on Friday. Oh, and uh, she has to make sure that everything's uh, packed and ready to go. That way, she, on Friday, she doesn't have to do all these last second, uh, you know, things. I probably am. You probably are. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't know why it's crooked. Oh, you got it. Woo. Let's go to Brooklyn! So after that cool ass montage, I just finally dropped off Shay uh, to check her apartment and oh wow that was quick. Hola cosmos, moscos, tacos. Uh, how was it? Everything is just as I left it, meaning the stuff's still broken. Oh okay, so now after she checked her apartment, so I think she's gonna spend her last couple days in New York with me in uh, my I think apartment. What I'm gonna have to do is like um, every morning you're gonna have to drop me off, going to work basically. You're gonna have to drop me off there and then I do my stuff and then at night you're gonna have to fish me because it's too cold to sleep in. I just got us some food. Uh, we drove to McDonald's of course. So right now I want to head to a, a place where the first time I looked at it, I was like, yo, that's a cool ass place. It looks cool and I, and I want to go there. I told Shay, I was like, let's go ahead and check it out. What is the harm of just going to this place, looking at it? I just want her to see it because she hasn't seen it yet. So we have arrived to our destination. Uh, it's right here in, uh, what is it? It's here on West 41st and 10th Ave. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is the Yotel Hotel. Yotel. Yo 
It's dope, right, guys? This is the hotel I've, uh, I've always wanted to stay at because it's it's so like I, I heard so many things about it. I really want to visit this hotel. Yotel. I heard the suites are amazing. One of these days, I am gonna stay here, uh, but I'm I'm gonna come on and out. I mean, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, make reservations. I hope it's not expensive. Well, I don't know the actual prices of the rooms here. There's one with a jacuzzi, but I bet you it's like a lot. Like you have to make some like type of income, like for example, YouTube money in order to afford one of these rooms. It's beautiful, so. Let me just open this. Oh my God, I had to see it like up close. The Yotel. Hotel. So what's up? So I figured, you know, I, I don't have a lot of footage, but I did shoot something in the car a couple days ago with Shay. So I'm, I'm gonna let that clip roll. I hope you enjoy the video uh, because I didn't have much for this weekend, but I'm gonna keep doing these these vlogs every day, uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, that's the schedule. That way I have some, some time to take a break and, and prepare for the next week. It's gonna be a Monday to Friday, break uh, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, hopefully everybody's fine with that. I'm fine with it. I'm not trying to be the biggest vlogger there, but I am. I'm trying to get my face out there to uh, casting directors and people who want me in short films and stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, I I'm an actor. <clears throat> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. How are you feeling? Tired, actually. I'm good. So, it is officially the 2nd of January. Just reflecting on your 2017. Yeah. How do you feel? You know how you just put on a fresh pair of underwear after you shower? It's like now we're in a new year. This is a fresh pair of underwear. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to take on the year. Not with the same underwear, though. What are you going to do differently this year? Well, I've, I've written some New Year resolutions. And I'm just going to... I'm going to say some. I'm going to point some out. Uh, vlog every day. Vlog and upload every day. Be smart with my money be a lot more healthier that's whether you want to take that as like eating healthier or having a, a healthy mind mentally and spiritually spiritually there you go so are you excited for 2018 um i am actually i am not excited but just so i'm anticipating I'm just waiting for what this year has for me. I want to speak a lot of things into existence. You know, for example, I, I want to land a commercial or a guest spot or a co-starring spot on like a feature film or a web series that goes on to Netflix. I want to speak that into, into existence. So how do you feel about carrying on with 2018 alone? Not that you're alone, but... I, I, I get it. Um, it's just knowing the fact that I've had so many people in 2017 that supported me when like I was down or needed advice or just were, were there for me. Just knowing that if I needed any any help, they were there. It, it really helped a lot. But knowing that 2018 is going to be a different different year to the past years that I've had. I just want to prove myself that, that this year I'm going to hustle. Help or no help. I'm going to hustle and bust my ass every single day to be better than than my old self years previously I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, a segment just it's called Casanova uncut hey real and raw well wow, that sounded so sexual so if you had to give a message to the 2017 angel mm -hmm. what would that message be like if he was coming into the year and I know what he doesn't know yet, I would say just be level-headed. Just remain cool, remain calm. Don't overanalyze situations. Don't work hard, work smart. And well, personal life, I would say just um, just take the high road each and every time. Meaning? Don't stoop to one person's level because if you do, they, that's what they want to see. That's what they want to see. Cause they see you doing, you're on this like way of just like happiness and they're like no you cause me all this pain and, and suffering well guess what you're gonna feel it too and then if you stoop down to their level they're gonna win automatically so might as well take the high road which i am i started the year with or a couple of weeks before the uh, 2018 started so would you say that's a major lesson you've, you've learned in 2017 yeah major lesson if you could have a conversation with 2019 angel what would you say just thinking about the past couple years, thinking about your goals for this year, where you want to go. What would you say to 2019, Angel? Yo, my brother, I hope you're making that money. <laughs> I hope you're making that money. I hope you're punctual. I, I hope you're as confident as as uh, 2018 Angel is going to be. Just keep pushing. Keep grinding. I hope you're doing that. And just keep being there for Jazz. 
keep being there for jazz. I'm just gonna, I, I feel like I'm, I'm looking at it right now in the future. Just keep just keep doing what you're doing with jazz and keep doing what you're doing with, with your career because it, it looks prosperous and, and I want to join you right now, but <laughs> I have to wait a, a whole nother year. So, yeah. If you want to receive more videos, turn my post notifications on and subscribe, mainly subscribe. That way you're helping me out by watching my videos more and just interact with me. Also, you could catch me on social media, on Twitter, and on Instagram, which is Angel Casanova TV. But yeah, catch me on there and talk to me. I'm always active on Instagram and on Twitter. Yeah, I'm out of here. Take a shot, make a friend, just enjoy the moment